Tundra, a major zone of treeless level or rolling ground found in cold regions, mostly north of the Arctic Circle, Arctic Tundra, or above the timberline on high mountains, Alpine Tundra. Tundra is known for large stretches of bare ground and rock and for patchy mantles of low vegetation such as mosses, lichens, herbs, and small shrubs. This surface supports a meager but a unique variety of animals. The Finns called their treeless northern reaches the Tunturi, but the concept of a vast frozen plain as a special ecological realm called tundra was developed by the Russians. Tundra climates vary considerably. The most severe occur in the Arctic regions, where temperatures fluctuate from 4 degrees Celsius, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, in midsummer to minus 32 degrees Celsius, minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit, during the winter months. Alpine tundra has a more moderate climate, summers are cool, with temperatures that range from 3 to 12 degrees Celsius, 37 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit, and winters are moderate, with temperatures that rarely fall below minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. The vegetation of many alpine tundras and over most of the Arctic tundra tends to be greenish-brown in color. While plants do not remain in flower for more than a few days or weeks in these environments, the blossoms are generally large in relation to the size of the plant and are rather colorful, especially in alpine habitats. The foggy tundras found along coastal areas produce matted and grassy landscapes. Algae and fungi are found along rocky cliffs, and rosette plants grow in rock cornices and shallow gravel beds. In the drier inland tundras, spongy turf and lichen heaths develop. Small mammals of the Arctic tundra have high reproductive rates. Most notable in this regard are the lemmings, which reach a population peak every three to five years in some regions. The characteristic large herbivores of the Arctic tundra are the reindeer, Rangifer tarandus, of Eurasia and North America, where they are known as caribou, and the muskox, Ovibos muscatus, of Greenland and some Canadian Arctic islands. These animals are rather large, considering the severe environments in which they live. Some predatory mammals follow the seasonal patterns of their prey, whereas others obtain food near their dens. Polar bears are as much a part of the marine environment as they are of the tundra. In winter they spend much of their time on ice flows hunting seals and other animals that congregate in those locations to breed. Brown bears, Ursus arctos, capture fish and small mammals, and foxes and wolves often follow bears to feed on leftovers. In summer, foxes and wolves are found mostly on land, where they raise their young and feed on birds and small mammals. Most tundra birds are migratory, staying long enough to nest and molt. One exception is the ptarmigan, which feeds upon willow buds and other exposed plant parts in winter and upon leaves, buds, and flowers in summer. Although the number of insect species in the Arctic is small compared with that of temperate regions, those that are present are quite successful. Arctic insects resist freezing winter temperatures. Some groups of species, such as tundra-adapted mosquitoes, possess high concentrations of glycerol, which acts as an antifreeze to lower the temperature at which freezing occurs. Many tundra insects and spiders are dark in color, which absorbs more sunlight and allows these animals to maintain higher body temperatures.